Well, let's talk about Bloom. Okay. Okay. Uh, how has Bloom gotten to have such an enormously high profile of most of the companies out here? That's the one you hear about. Yeah, you do. And it's, it's a cool idea. You know, they want to almost make instant energy. But they're also kind of sprinkled with stardust. You know, Al Gore talks about them. You see the CEO palling around with Tom Friedman at Davos. So there's a certain whiff of celebrity. You're very skeptical. I can see this, obviously. I'm skeptical. I'm hopeful, but I'm skeptical because people have tried fuel cells for you know, since the 1830s. Yeah. And they're great ideas, right? You know, just you know, producing energy at an instant. But they're not easy. They're like the divas of industrial equipment. The little plates inside have to work not just for an hour or a day, but they have to work for 30 years nonstop. And then the box has to be cheap to make. What if he can get the price way down? He claims he can. And if he, if he can, the problem is then GE and Siemens and other conglomerates probably can do the same thing. I mean, they have fuel cell patents. They have research teams that have looked at this. And they have a much, uh, much greater leeway to actually spread that cost over a lot of products.